How do I figure out how many calories of food I should eat each day? So that is kind of a tricky question because everyone's different and it also depends on your support, uh, your sport and it also depends on where you are in your training season. So before you before we even start with calories, I want you to look at times of day that you eat. So I'm a big fan of meal times, and I'm a big fan of eating small, frequent meals to control your portion sizes, to keep your energy levels up, and to make sure that you get all the nutrients you need in a day, every day. So you're going to want to eat within an hour of waking, and then every three to four hours thereafter. And you'll notice that the mid-afternoon snack and even the dinner time snack might be your pre-workout meal and your post-workout meal. It kind of can work out quite nicely if your day is planned right. So once you have your meal time set, your meals could be anywhere between 300 calories to 600 calories per meal depending on all sorts of things. Your height and your current weight, your weight goals, are you, you know, a long distance runner or are you doing weightlifting? Are you in the middle of your training season or are you doing weights to bulk up before the season? So there's a lot of that information that can vary based on how many workouts you're doing a week and how long your workouts are. The best way to know is if you stick to your schedule of eating every three to four hours and always eating within an hour of waking, follow what your body's doing. So say you choose to eat 400 calories at every meal and you start to gain weight, then you're probably eating a little bit too much. Or you're eating 400 calories and you're low on energy, you're exhausted, and you're not feeling right. Then up it to 500 calories. At your age and at your energy level, you're going to be able to burn these calories. So more is likely better. But here's the catch. It's not 400 calories per meal of carbs. So I'm not asking you to eat a bag of potato chips. You have to have protein, carbs, and fat every time you eat. So a sandwich could not be just a slice of bread with, I don't know, some mustard or a bagel and cream cheese probably wouldn't count. I want some turkey on there or some eggs on there or some nuts on there, something that gives it some protein and some fat to give the whole meal a complete meal. Once you start eating regular, frequent meals every three to four hours and they're balanced, then the portion size just kind of, kind of falls into place based on how you feel and what the scale is doing.